Hi everybody, and welcome to a new game, um, but in the vein of something that is familiar to the channel. Um, Gazeppes, yes, as it is often misinterpreted around the house when I'm asked what I'm playing and I say cassette beasts very quickly. Um, sorry if we're dropping frames. I, um, I slept a YouTube upload, so it's finishing that in the background. Hopefully it doesn't impact anything too much. But um, I figured since we're between games, we will do a couple of, like, I don't know, one-offs or whatever. And I feel like this game really deserves some more attention. They just released um, like a, a free content update for it and there's DLC on the way. And it is described, like, I don't want to use the term Pokemon for adults because that sounds annoying and stupid, but it's, it's a Pokemon like, like it's a monster catching and fighting game that has a battle system that is intended to be a more strategic version of Pokemon. So I'll let y'all be the judge of all that. It also has some super cool music, so hopefully you can hear some of that as we uh, go through it today. Anyway, we'll uh, jump into it. I'm just gonna start a, a brand new game. As you can see, I've put some, uh, put some, uh, put some time into it. But let's just go down here and start a new one. Oh, starting off with a quote of Sir Gawain. Now rides this knight through the realm into the wilderness of Whirl. Thousand... Oh, okay. I didn't read it fast enough. I am recording, yeah, just in case. Um, my name is... I'm not typing. Okay. Boop. There we go. Um, let's see. What is this affecting? This is my shoes? I don't know what this is actually affecting. But my favorite color is some sort of blue, so let's find one of those. How about that one? Skin color. Sure. Head scarf. Ooh, hat and buns. Bald. No. Safety helmet, maybe. No. Oh, I kind of like that one. Let's go with that one. I don't have a hair accessory color. Grumpy. Ooh, I like grumpy. This is important that I decide what color this pixel is going to be. That one. I have no face accessory color, so let's pick oh, a nice pink. Get some color in there. There we go. We colors. Woke up on a beach. Fairy Link's Awakening. Oh, sorry. So you can dash, run around. I got a hundred wood. Sorry, snuck up on me too fast. I will say, I um am not normally one for this sort of, I don't know, I wouldn't know, know if you'd call it like voxel aesthetic or whatever, but thank you. Um, it's normally not something that is for me, but uh, it works and you just kind of get used to it, so. Oh, 
Oh no, there's a little traffic cone behind me. Hey stranger, don't make any sudden moves. Traffic crabs don't take kindly to strangers. Or anyone for that matter. Here, take this. Okay, quick question. What's your aesthetic? Do we want spooky or sweet? They're both good. They're both good, but you can pick. Alright, goth sheep or candy head. Uh, well, it takes a while. These are, this is like our starter choice. So, um... Spooky? Okay, cool. I started with sweet on my first one, so we'll do spooky. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah I can see that. In that case, take this. The band sheep tape. The eerie moans of the wild banshee at night have led many to believe that they are restless undead spirits, but this is untrue. They are very much alive. They just like to have a bit of a whine. Who doesn't? Alright, now just pop that into your cassette player, put on the headphones, and press play. It might get a little weird, but follow my lead. Your turn, don't be shy. Just breathe. You'll adjust in just a moment. Right. right, let's give them hell. All right. User's evasion is passively raised in... Whoa, that seems pretty good. So I'll try to let the game explain most of the things, but... Oh, wow, we just murdered it. My goodness. All right, so we learned a new move. We've learned Battering Ram, a melee attack that doesn't have 100% accuracy, so you won't see much of it. You handled yourself pretty well there. Uh, what's your name? I'm Kaylee. Nice to make your acquaintance, Monarch. Anyway, we should probably get you warmed up before you freeze to death in your pajamas. What do you think? Pretty quaint, right? Sure. Welcome to Harbor Town. <laughs> Your new home. But I already have a home. Uh... All right. Yeah, sorry. I'm not very good at this part. I don't know how best to break the news. You're stuck here. We all are. I don't feel so good. Blah. <laughs> and scene. Wonderful. Ah, wonderful, you're awake. Kaylee gave me quite a fright when she came knocking at my door. You had me scared there for a moment, Monarch. I don't think it's anything serious. Transforming for the first time is quite a shock to the psyche. Anyway, Harbortown happened to have a spare home available for you, so this is your place now. What on earth is this place? On earth? Kaylee, you haven't told him? Sorry. I should have. Not to info dump on you, but you're on an island called New World. It's not strictly on Earth. At least that's what we think. It is good music. Is there any way back home? I'm afraid not. So sorry. Castaways have been trying to get back to their worlds for a century, and none have succeeded. <laughs> but, but you'll be okay. There's community in Harbor Town, and we each help each other out. It's not a bad life. And it's safe. Well, apart from the monsters. Yeah. yeah, I'm actually going on patrol soon. If you'd like to join me, meet me by the gate. The one just over the bridge we crossed to come into town. In the meantime, feel free to say hi to your new neighbors. I'm pretty sure word has already gotten around that there's a new lad in town. Uh... We also fetched some clothes for you, though they might be a bit out of fashion for your era. But it's all we have. Sorry, sorry, I'm info dumping. I'll catch you soon, right? 
We can talk more if you like. My clinic is nearby. If you need a checkup, feel free to visit. This all must be a lot to take in, but we all went through the same thing once. New quest. Thank you. Let's see here. Can I not? There we go. T-shirt, jacket, jacket, vintage dress. I'm feeling... Is that a crop top jacket? Oh, I kind of like the t-shirt though. Can, we, can I get blue and orange? Nice. Can I get some blue jeans? Gotta have green shoes. Love it. Alrighty, so, um, let's kind of get acquainted. We have a grid-based map. We've got quest systems. We've got NPCs. You know what I miss? Sports. Why can't Harbor Town start a football team? Well, I suppose there'd be no one to play against. I don't think the giant crabs on the beach have a competitive spirit. The Gramophone Cafe. Gramophone. Bonjour. Bonjour. Football. It's not too often we get a new face in here, especially not one as handsome as your own. I am Clemence. And this fine establishment is the Gramophone Cafe. What can I say? I own many records and I brew the best coffee. Not that there's a lot of competition. Please feel free to ask me any questions. I'm in no rush. So this is your like Pokemon Center and item shop. Go through it. When I arrived in Harbor Town, the people here were crying out for a place to socialize, a place that must be stylish. I made that place. If not me, who else? The town had a gramophone, an old machine for playing musical records. So I took this machine and I made it the centerpiece of this establishment. But the people, they cried out to me, Clemence, you have a gramophone but no music. Well, one day, the rangers find a place that's filled with intact records. So they bring them to me. They lamented we have the records, but they're made for modern record players. Our gramophone cannot play them. I said to them, shush, and I fixed the gramophone. And now we can play the records. Now my cafe is stylish and it has music. Everyone is happy. The end. Uh, I fell. I landed in the ocean. Washed up here about 10 years ago now. It is what it is. I miss motorbikes. How do you brew your coffee? I have a special method. And the pipers grow me coffee beans on their farm. It's a good arrangement. We. All right. If you ever get stuck, try asking around town. Sometimes a good rumor will put you back on the right path. Oh yeah, let's look at our sheep. So, the flavor of this is that uh, you have your cassette tapes that are your monsters, and you put stickers on them, and those are your moves. So you can move stickers from tapes to tapes, which is super nice. Um, and your tapes will get new stickers when they level up and collect stars. So like when we defeated that, we got the uh, battering ram attack. And we can see with the uh, little bars, the filled in squares are how much um, action points it takes to use the move so you get to a turn so you can't use like battering ram right to start a battle you have to wait at least a turn that's why the uh, smack and spit are like the default moves that uh, <laughs> that um, kind of let you build your AP while you're waiting to do more For 101 years, this town has stood. Did you know that? I remember what this place looked like as a little girl. The town changes so much so fast. But the foundations, they have always stayed the same. For some reason, you can throw this. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, bud. You'll have to come back later to use the elevator. I'm doing a few long overdue repairs. All right. We'll get, keep this moving.
So I do have a, a little dash, which is my stamina meter ticking down there. Hey. Hey again, Monarch. How are you feeling a little better? You know, you held your own the last time we fought together. So, well, I've been given an errand I need a helping hand. Do you think you'll be able to help me out? Sure. Glad to hear you're up for the task. You see that path there? Hello. Some kind of quake or monster activity last night. You can see the cracks in the ground. We're going to check out the path and make sure it's safe for crossing. Hmm. Here, take the key to the gate. I'll thank you. Bloop. Physics object gates. All right, there's some basics I gotta show you first. I hope you're ready to turn into a monster again. Yeah, sure. <laughs> You'll adjust in no time. It's like riding a bike. Except, you know, if the bike transformed into a moody floating sheep. And also you're the bike. Hmm. See that creep with the boots? It's a spring heel. And it's gonna get aggressive with you if you get any closer. So you're gonna get closer, of course. Boop. All right, all right. So action points, like I said, you get two a turn. Uh, moves cost AP. Blah blah blah. So we can only do smack. So we'll smack it. So we have ranged attacks and physical attacks. You can see the icon next to ranged attack is the element of the attack. So elements are just like types in Pokemon. Oof. You've taken a bit of a beating, but your monster form can take it. The green bar represents your monster form's health, and the red is yours. If a form loses all of its health in a fight, its tape will break and need repairing. Not only that, but any extra damage from the attack it, that broke it will apply to your health, the red bar. If both of us lose all of our health, then we'll have to retreat back to Harbor Town. Got it? Right. All right, let's crack on. So every fight, or rather like, 98% of the fights in this game start off as double battles on your side. You've always got a partner with you. So here, our buddy Kaylee's Sirenade has learned Sonic Boom. Yeah. Nice work. Hmm, that elevator should be functioning. There will be a switch around here to turn it back on. It's in here, I think. Touch. Hey. Great, let's head on up, shall we? I'll let you take the lead on any more fights, but don't worry, I'll be sticking with you, for, with you from here on out. Sirenade. Sirenades are particularly loud creatures and can amplify their own singing voices through their microphone tails and wings. They don't seem to have much awareness as to whether or not their singing is too loud for those around them. So all of the like Pokedex entries have a page one and a page two that you unlock after you get the monster to five stars. Um, as well as a tracker for the bootlegs, which are like shinies in this, uh, this game. And just some other miscellaneous stats. Unlike shinies in Pokemon, bootlegs are like they come in all those different varieties so if you get a like a purple sirenade then it will be a poison type sirenade actually that that is a shiny in the wild that i cannot catch that uh snake over there on the right i, I think let's see if i don't that's really <laughs> that's really frustrating uh let's let's see if we can get tapes and maybe grab that thing. Basically, we need Pokeballs. Bop. Actually, you are... Eh. So now we can use our AoE. Hit both of them. Oof. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bop. That was a good crit. Alright, so we leveled up. It's mean. It is mean, yes. Man. 
that's definitely a, so shinies are visible on the overworld that is a if i had to guess a ground type carnivipher i mean i would but i i need you to give me tapes lady there will be more monsters about but we can take them yeah can you give me tapes Make sure I... Ah, oh, that's the worst. All right, don't go anywhere, buddy. Do you see that monster? There must be a way to get it to come over here. We're going to turn the light on. Hi. Okay. Okay, take these. Oh, thank gosh. Okay, cool. There's something about monsters on New World. When weakened, their essence can be, well, recorded to cassette tapes. We don't know, entirely know how it works, but it does, and that's good enough for us. I wonder, can I just flee? Okay, they're just gonna make me do it, okay. So they, they get a chance. And as you deal damage to them, it will raise the chance. And if you take damage, it will lower the chance. If the party member doing the recording... Domino... Domin... Dominoth. There it is. Dominoths see themselves as defenders of peace and spend their days patrolling the skies of woodland areas. The only thing that can distract them from their noble duties are bright lights, such as lamps. Cool. So... Pretty much just the same as uh, Pokemon in terms of catching stuff. Now try switching to the tape you just recorded. Good, because Bansheep is looking beaten up. That's how you get yourself new monster forms. However, if a monster takes too much damage, it'll flee, so you won't be able to record it. You with me so far? Nice. Now, let's finish this bug off. Toink. So, the nice thing about the way this capture system works is that you can get them low, start to record them, and then beat them up, and they can't die while they're being recorded. It just adds to your... Oh, please, I'm really interested in trying to... Some monster forms give us extra abilities when we record them, beyond just being able to take their shapes. Don't panic. We got wings. Okay, can I get that Carnivine? Sorry. Or Carnivipper? Sorry, I should, probably should have warned you, but I thought it might be a little easier to show you. We can use this to glide across that gap right there. Yes, that's great. I need this shiny, please. It's still there. Oh, it's a ground type. Alright, so... I'm going to stay in, and we got to... Actually, I'm just going to try to nab it. Okay, that's good. We want them to target... Oh, no. Ah, I need that to hit. That's really frustrating. Okay. So they can't run away, so we're going to... We're going to switch to Dominoth and try and kill this Spring Heal while we wait for the uh, Accuracy debuff to go down. So for the most part, uh, status ailments last three turns when they start. Uh, same for buffs. So we can see the Carnivipper used the Raise Arms. Stop it. Raise arm moves. Can you... That's really annoying. Hit? Okay. Alright, I think we can afford to hit the Carnivipper once. Stop it. Stop it. Nice. Okay, we got rid of the Spring Heal. That makes it a little bit easier to... Oh, good. So let's go... We'll record with our accuracy impairment. 
and then we will spit at it. So now we got a better chance by base. All right, it didn't hit me. That should get us there. So also the nice thing, it failed, so it didn't run away, which is awesome. I'm gonna try and hit it a little bit harder this time. 50%. Oof. Okay, so that hit us, so it's gonna go down a little bit. Come on. 68%. Got it. Nice. So that's its normal type, is poison. Despite its grinning visage, the Carnivipe isn't actually a friendly creature. It's very territorial and will attack anyone who approaches it that it deems a threat which tends to be everything and anyone. Nice. And then it runs away. Nice. So it came equipped with a uh, an uncommon sticker. So it has its base effect and it has an additional effect, which is that second line. So this destroys every wall, which is like a shield. And then the damage is based on range defense if higher. All right, so let's heal. So healing out in the world costs resources. Kaylee engages you with an enthusiastic discussion on your favorite dog breeds. Nice. So we are healed up, and it is now nighttime. So, oh, our favorite dog breeds. Um, I mean, I gotta go with my uh, my actual girls, Woodle and Sheepa Doodle. Oop. But like, favorite vanity dog breed would be like Saluki they're neat. Oh, look at this friend. Let's try to get this dog. It's a pom bomb. Oh, so we might get to see some effects here. Let's get rid of the Carnivipe first, though. So you can see there is an effect that happens if I target the pom bomb. They just announced that, oh no, we've been poisoned. Poison characters take damage at the end of their turn. They just announced that they are working on plushies of Pom Bomb. All right. I really don't want to kill it, so. Actually, let's do this. Let's just sharpen. Splat! Ouch, that hurt. Air type attacks blow out fire type targets, reducing the strength of their future attacks. So instead of Pokemon, that's a weird pug. Instead of Pokemon where you just do extra damage if you have type advantage, you inflict some sort of either buff on you or debuff on your opponent if you have an advantageous matchup. So we're going to have Kaylee record and we're going to hit it with a melee attack. Alright, don't fail me now. Ouch. Don't do it. Ooh. Got it. Got it. I said that. Look at that little face. Pom bombs are universally considered to be one of the friendliest creatures on New World. If it weren't for their habits of accidentally setting anything and everything on fire, they would make quite good pets. Oh, and yeah, so we can see the stats. We have HP. Melee attack, melee defense, range attack, range defense, and speed. Pretty standard, I think. Let's 
So Sirenade has learned Provoke, Carnivipper has learned Revenge Strike, and Pom Pom, or Pom Bomb came with Inflamed. Alrighty. Since we are out of um, Pokeballs, oh, bloop, shortcut. All right, don't mind me, traffic crab. Huh? What's going on? If this is because of monster activity, we better stay sharp. Let's go. Okay, you felt that one, right? Neat. What? What is that? Well, is that always here? Um, isn't this normal? I've never seen anything like that before. Has this always been buried here? Investigate the strange structure. Huh? Is this a train station? It should be okay to take a, take a look around, right? This place smells like Burning metal. I can't explain it. Turnstile! Kaylee, move. I'm trying to play. So we opened a sticker, which is a actually pretty good one. Let's see. So we can put new stickers on, as long as we have empty slots. So Dock Leaf is a one cost that gives us a heal over time. Monarch, can you feel something in the air? Spooky. Is that you, Mordred? Come closer, child, so that I may see you one last time. This is... this is... The long conflict has drawn to an end. I am afraid he has defeated me truly this time. Monarch, I think this is an Archangel. We need to leave now. This isn't like the other monsters. We are not safe here. Who are you? No, no, you are not my kin. You come for me once again, sword in hand. Oh no. Uh oh. Archangel Morgante, broken spirit. We are hurting. Let's uh let's get some heals going. We'll try to turtle up here for a moment. Characters with healing leaf regain some of their health at the start of each turn. Missed. Nice. That was a good dodge. So let's just smack it. Actually, might as well use battering ram. Actually, let's get the, the heal up. Level 100, yes, but she's damaged. Unlike other monsters that spend AP to use move moves, Archangels accumulate all their AP until it reaches 10. Once an Archangel reaches 10, it unleashes a power that it's once at once in its unique angelic attack. To survive, use your moves strategically to either set up a solid defense and prep or defeat them before it gets enough HP or AP. So I think we're gonna switch out here to Carnaviper. 
And we have the same like pool, so we can switch when needed here. And the cool thing about switching is that you preserve your uh, buffs and debuffs. I am not gonna die here, not like this. Do you hear me, Monarch? This isn't the end for us, it can't be. I refuse. I refuse. We're gonna fight this thing and we're gonna do it together. Monarch and Kaylee's hearts act as one. So, are all of the Archangels named after books? Um, yes, they do seem to have a uh, uh, correlation to written works of art. Tutorial, fusion. When your goals are aligned with those of your companion, you can fuse to become a singular, more powerful beast. The closer you are to the com your companion, the more powerful you are as a fusion. As a fusion, you gain 4 AP in each turn instead of 2, allowing you to make use of more powerful moves sooner. You also have access to all the moves of both tapes combined, and your stats are added together. So... Do I not... I don't have... I guess we'll use Sonic Boom as it's our most powerful. I don't have a Toxic Move, which is what I was trying to poison her. Nice. Okay, I think we just keep using that. Coda Morgana. Youchers, that almost killed us. Forget what happens if we split here. Oh, we do have the little healing though. Oof, okay, whew! Let's see if we can knock this out. Nice. That was close. Bansheep learned Bite, and Dominoth learned Taunt. Uh, just like in Pokemon, Taunt is amazing. Taunt's such a good move in this game. <laughs> How did we... I don't know. Your stamina increased by 20%. You can now glide for 3 seconds. You can also dash for 3 seconds. Enough. My time is drawing to an end. Why have you come to this wretched place? I want to go home. I see. There is a way. There are none who know the path but I. I require a vessel and you require a guide. Rebuild my strength and in turn I shall lead you from this land. Wait. Very well. Very well. Hear my song. Blah! If you wish to leave this land, then heed my words and hear my song. You must rise to the task at hand. You must walk the path most long. The rest of the song is too quiet to make out. <sighs> Monarch, are you okay? What happened? You blanked out there for a second. We should get out of here. Badaladala. A lot happened at that train station. I guess we should probably talk about it. Uh, about Archangel? Archangels. Supposedly when the first unlucky sods washed up on the shores of New World, they thought the monsters here were angels. And some of them wrote of other entities too, greater than the others. Creatures that look and feel wrong. Logically, they called these other creatures Archangels and not demons the highest ranking among the Order of Angels. Of course, when people learned they could fight and defeat the regular monsters, they lost their angelic allure. Well. They've had a bunch of names over the years. Angels, demons, devils, ghouls. We just call them monsters now. It's a good catch-all term. Stray hair. I got it. Those other creatures though, like the one we fought, they're still archangels to us. We don't know what they are. No one has really seen one for a long time. Looking at the thing we fought, it's hard to explain. It felt like I wasn't viewing it correctly, trying to watch a movie through binoculars or something. Sorry. 
Oh, sorry. I'm making some assumptions there. We're all from different worlds, after all. <laughs> you might not know what movies are. Uh... I've seen plenty of movies. Phew. Okay, grand. I've been in New World for three years, and I've still not completely learned to adjust to my cultural references when I talk to new folks. And about as fusing. Oh, yeah, that. A lot of movies. Fusion is a rare phenomenon known by the rangers. There are fused monsters in the wild, and supposedly the leader of the rangers can do it too. In the right circumstances, two people in monster form are able to unite and form one powerful being. I guess the right circumstances include nearly being killed by an archangel. It feels strange. In that moment, I was sharing a body with you, and the thing we became was both of us, and not us at the same time. I've never fused with anyone before. I certainly wasn't expecting to fuse with someone I barely know. It just kind of happened in the heat of the moment, right? Sorry. Sorry. Talking about this is a little awkward. Well, we wouldn't have survived without it. Yeah, I guess you're right. Now that we've done it, I have this weird feeling inside of me, like a door has been opened that I didn't even know was there before. I feel like I'd be able to fuse with you again if we ever needed to. So let me get this straight. That Archangel Morgante, her memory is inside you now? And she knows a way to leave New World? If there is a chance that this can lead to a way off this island and return people to their homes and families, we owe it to everyone on New World to find out. What do you say? Are we in this together? Let's do it. Fusion is now available in regular battles when partnered with Kaylee. Fusions you form with Kaylee have plus 5% added strength. Building relationships with your friends is really important. The strength of your relationship directly affects how strong you are when fused together. You can get closer to somebody by completing their quests and battling alongside them. When the time is right, you can take a break at a campfire or in the cafe to level up your relationship. If an archangel gave you that vision, then you need to find another one. And you need to be strong enough to stand against it when you do. Nice. New quest! Locate archangels and complete the song. The rangers have a training program that will help you become strong enough. Let's begin by getting you to a meeting with the ranger leader. She'll be at the outpost in the park right about now. Alright, so we should be rested up. Let's see. Yes. We can buy stuff now. Bonjour. Standing on top of her. So these are full heals. Uh, we can hold five of them. These are revives. We can hold two of them. Oh, we can hold one. Jeez. Um, what do these cost? Plastic? Jeez, we can only buy one? Sucks. Right now we're a little cash strapped, but we'll find more. Angry guy. Don't make me tell you again. Harbortown won't fall to you bloodsuckers. So unreasonable. <laughs> Crawl back to the darkness where you came from, or you'll have to go through me. I fought your kind before and won. Do you want a demonstration? We shall leave for now. But in time, you shall understand that we know what is best for you all. Yeah. Tell the rest of your kind that this town is protected by Eugene. This is a cool jacket. Let me know if those creeps ever bother you again, ma'am. And whatever you do, don't invite them into your house. That's what they want. Thank you. I will keep that in mind. Thank you for intervening, young man. Hey. Oh, hey. Sorry you had to see that. The name's Eugene. Which I guess you know, because I just yelled it at those guys. Hi, I'm Monarch. Nice to meet a new face around here, Monarch. Uh, what was all that about? I won't trouble you with the details, but they don't belong in this world. Let's just say that not all monsters in New World look like serial mascots. Anyway, I gotta go stake out those guys. I can't risk them sinking their teeth into the good people of Harbor Town. Do you require some assistance, citizen? If you're willing to get your hands dirty, I'd be glad to have you assist. Meet me at this location. I'll give you the full lowdown when you're there. Just prepare yourself for a throwdown. Things might get kind of ugly. Count a chocula. So, if you haven't guessed, 
The people who get portraits are either like important NPCs or party members, and Eugene has strong party member energy. Hey. Hey. Any chance you could lend me a hand? You see, I told Ianth that I'd put up a town sign here. Something that could make the place a little more cozy, you know? <gasps> Only I've miscalculated how much wood it would take. Any chance you could source me some spare wood that would be a real lifesaver? Sure. Thanks. Really? Thanks. Come say hi when you've got the materials. We need 300 wood. Oh, we got the uh, lift working. Well. With the way people in this town go on about monsters and cassette tapes, you'd think everyone here was having fun. Well, not me. It's a lot of wood, yes. I find all this monster business weird and uncomfortable. Why couldn't I be marooned somewhere more normal? How big is this sign? Uh, probably a lot. Parkour, parkour. Earth wall. So walls cost you, they're kind of like substitutes, um, except they don't have HP, they have turns and hits. Um, but if you break a wall with the type that it's weak against, it'll just go away. Are you a recent arrival? I've been here for 20 years. Eventually the novelty and strangeness of it all was just, had just become part of everyday life. Why, I barely even think about the fact that I live on an island populated by giant monsters. We usually cook food for the townsfolk here, but we haven't received ingredients from the farm west of here in a while. I wonder what's going on. There's no time to chat. I have an order of pastries to finish preparing. Right? I can't. Yep, oh, there we go. Meh. You know, I worked so hard to move out of my hometown. I really mean it. I was ready for the next part of my life, only to get stuck in another small town. I suppose this is just what fate wanted for me, huh? <sighs> Inquiring souls, are you here to learn about the astral arts? Sure. You'd be wise to heed my words. You see, beasts of the astral type draw their powers from the four basic elements of nature, earth, or of nature, earth, water, fire, and air. An astral creature exposed to any of these four elements will be empowered. However, their internal harmony can be thrown into disarray by exposure to impure elements, plastic, poison, and metal. If you wish to take the form of an astral beast, remember this. So... Astral and Glitter are the two, like, I don't want to call them, like, premium types, but, yeah, everything changed when the Fire Beast attacked. They're the two rarest types, I would say. There's enough food to go around in Harbor Town, but options are limited. We haven't had a duck roll in forever. Oh, actually, I think fridges are chests? Let's see. It's empty! The scribbled notes say, the mysterious gears beneath this hill are the key to unlocking this dinosaur's true potential. Uh, okay. Hello. Hello. I'd say that I make all the clothes in Harbor Town, but for a while now, the rangers have been delivering clothes to us from the abandoned mall in the north. I just clean and repair them. We got a quest. Doink. Why don't we chat with the sticker merchants? They might have something we can use. The merchant who runs this stall has left a note. I've gone to the cave in the park to find some inspiration. If I'm not back by noon, send help! Okay. Have you been to the west side of Harbor Town yet? I've been meaning to visit the Heritage Center over there. But we can't get there. There's no bridge. I was hoping to cross the bridge but it's been raised for a while now. That's fine, I can stay on this side of town, I guess. 
So you can buy, there's like TM shops, there's sticker merchants. The old one too, what is that? Huh. All right, so let's pick a quest. So we can go meet the rangers, the leader of the rangers. We can go help Eugene, or we can uh, uh, help the sticker merchant. So I'm gonna start walking there, but give me a direction. Oh, and we can't swim. Just in case you were wondering. The beach reminds me of watching up on New World for the first time. Pop. Alright. Y'all can't see the map, but there is a, uh, a map behind my face. Can't go there yet. Face off. I could turn it off. Oh no, spring heel. Out of here. So we can take our shortcuts. Whoop. The upper path. No, don't. Haven't heard any fire. Oh yeah, it's true. It's we have not heard any fireworks. Well, we found Eugene first, so let's talk to him. Hey, glad you turned up. Are you ready to take on the forces of evil? Sure. Momentous. Momentous. All right. Do you see that building over there? That's a stronghold. It's where these inhuman parasites form their dark plots to take over this world. Uh, it doesn't look that impressive. Looks can be deceiving, buddy. Their kind once plagued the world I came from, but we fought back. We won. There are a few of these strongholds. You might have seen them around. They lock the front doors, but we can drop in through the window on the roof. All right. Try gliding over there. I'll be on your side. Don't worry about it. Eugene. Eugene uses Cloxley. Cloxley's long claw limb gives them a unique advantage in ranged combat, as they are able to wield handheld weaponry at a safe distance. This makes up for the fact that they're not very fast. So it is a ranged attack specialist. Kaylee has returned to the Gramophone Cafe. Oh yeah, so I think, let's see. There are a lot of, here we go. So speed run timers, you can enable your quest trackers. Thought. Oh yeah, so these are kind of cool. You can determine the level of smartness for the AI. So you can like pump it up to smart so that enemies choose moves more intelligently. They don't scale down, scaling part way up. <laughs> Literally Skynet. Does that say lower? It's cheese. All right. So I'm gonna at least go to smart. And then level scaling, completely disabled, impenetrable grind, and so on. So a fair amount of uh, granularity you can control your runs. Once you've beaten the game once, it has built-in randomizer settings. So you can always play around with that too. Uh, no, I would like to apply save. I nabbed the window key from one of those ghouls while they were patrolling. We're gonna drop right in there and flush them out. You ready? Let's do it. Hey! We're taking down your operation, you leeches. <clears throat> you are being very uncooperative, young man. Why don't you listen to our sales pitch? Sales pitch? Wait, what is this? What do you mean? 
I thought they were vampires. <sighs> they are vampires. Well... Well, in a manner of speaking. I'd say they're worse than vampires. They're estate agents. Yes. The Land Keepers Association simply wants to formulate a long-term housing market within New World. If you buy in now, you can make significant profit from any future arrivals who will need housing. Since New World has no currency, we even have a promising repossession scheme in development. Hey! I've heard enough. Harbor Town will never be bought out by your kind. Monarch, are you ready? Uh, I guess so. Hey, a pond dead. So Cloxley's thing is that it gets to spring, ro spring load and turn melee attacks into uh, ranged attacks to use its better ranged. Or is that shirt my dad owns? Yeah, right. Spring load. Spring load extends the range of a character's melee attacks, turning them into ranged. Toink. No, I've been buried. Just as the life cycle of plastics is, plastic products is often, unfortunately, to be buried in a landfill, Earth-type attacks bury plastic types, limiting their movement. So, speed and evasion down. So, bite is a cool one. It's a powerful melee attack that gives you a little bit of health back. Much better than battering ram. Chomp. Good crit. Damage roll can be a very scary attack. Poink. Bop him with a hammer. Close. Close, Eugene. Raise arms. Arms up. That makes your ranged attack go up. Oh, we got another. So I've noticed that uh, um, shinies, bootlegs, tend to get better moves when they level up. Also, they've got the zoomies. It's quick attack of this game. Market growth is inevitable. We are inevitable. Arms up. A small victory, but there's more work to be done. Are you sure they're really that bad? These land keepers seek to profit off our collective misery. I don't know how they got here, but I intend to stop them as the defender of Harbor Town. Uh, do you want some help with that, buddy? Some help would be appreciated, yeah. Keep your eyes peeled for other strongholds and listen up for rumors when you're in town. All right. Also, take this. You can open the roof windows on your own now. Alrighty, so rumors are just like side quests or other things that townspeople notice. And so there is, I think there is a distribution event that has a shiny too. So we can, ooh, what's this? Get that in town. I think we have fast travel back to town. Nice. Yes. I think it's summertime? Hang on. Let me, uh... Let me look it up because I want I want the thing now. Um. Let's 
let's see. There we go. It's this one. It is summertime. Huh. Maybe you have to be past a certain point. Let's see. Oh, or I could just spell it wrong and nobody told me. I'm sure you did tell me. Yeah, thank you. There it is. There's a package for you. Alright. Pupper cut. Sorry, every time I click over it, it flashes. Pupper cut is an expired an aspiring boxer. Although they are born with an iron coating over various parts of their bodies, this outer layer is prone to rust. The rusty layer sheds as they mature into their adult forms. But ours is a lightning bootleg. Nice. Cool. So now Eugene is our partner. Oh, we need to rest because Eugene is messed up. I need to get back to my workout routine soon. I can't save the world if I'm not on top of my game, you know? Maybe one day some dumbbells will watch up on the beach. Oop, a rumor. Have you seen an imp with leather boots? It's spring heel. I've heard it can be seen in the outskirts. So that guy just kind of gives you leads on monsters typically ones that don't have like regular overworld spawns or have specific conditions oh do we have enough money to buy more we can buy one more uh tape Alright, so we've already uncovered rogue fusions. This monster is what rangers call a rogue fusion. Sometimes they hide inside chests found in underground caves. Battling them can be a great way to earn valuable items and experience, as well as find certain rare monsters. But note that they're always a lot more dangerous than other monsters in the area. Uh, certain rogue fusions surround themselves with a swarm of other monsters that you have to battle first. If you're not certain about your combat abilities or exploring somewhere new, it's usually best to leave them alone. Nah, we're, we're doing it. I will challenge it. I've made a mistake. They are level 11. Let's see what we can do. Oh my. Okay. Okay. So we can bury the traffic crab, but we need to get the spring viper out of here. Okay, nope, we need to run. Uh-oh. Why is it doing so much damage to Eugene? All right, we should just run. Uh, sure. Yeah, we don't have much to lose, so. Woof, okay. I don't know, he has like no defense. Oop, something else. What you got? Have you seen a pangolin with a spear? It's squiry. I've heard it can be seen in the outskirts. 
Uh, I guess we can buy a uh, tape. Nice. Another one. I heard a rumor that the ground under New World Park sometimes trembles as if a large vehicle is passing underground. What do you think's down there? Oh, nice. I'm not sure why that triggered, but... So here we have an uncommon two-hit attack that actually hits three times. That's a very good uncommon. So I guess we'll go see what uh, the leader of the rangers is up to. Not today. Oh, I can't go that way. Go this way. Chest, chest. Mountain smash. Nice. Have you seen these red caches about? Us rangers leave supplies in them for each other when traversing the island. In fact, I was just about to place something in this one. Why don't you take it instead? Nice. That sucks because we can't carry it, but uh, that is a revive. They're not crazy expensive though, so it's not a big deal. We have a new campsite. And a trainer. Hey you. You boys aren't normally bold enough to venture this close to our outpost. Why don't you get out of here while this conversation remains civil? Mm. Ain't moving, huh? I guess I gotta get my hands dirty then. The double Dominoth. Momentous. Huh. Okay. You know what's faster than running? Fast travel. To do it, just press menu to open your map, then move your cursor. Yep, yep. You can fast travel to escape battle if you're too slow to flee. But you'll have to abandon some of your items. Yep. We did see that. Meh. There's a lot of finding switches. It's, it's almost um, like Game Boy era Zelda-like in its traversal, much more than like Pokemon is. You want to know what really separates us from the monsters? It's infrastructure. Homes, walls, running water. And it's not enough to just build a community. You got to maintain it too. A place like Harbor Town can fall apart without diligent care. One of Harbor Town's ranger captains, gym leaders. I oversee any building work on New World. Say, you look like you can handle your, yourself pretty well. <laughs> and opposable thumbs, yeah. Why don't you sign up to become a trainee ranger? You should chat to uh, Leader Ianth. I think I suspect she's at the outpost just north of here. Oh, what? Another shiny? Wow. We got an electric one now? Neat. All right, let's take care of the poison type. All right, so I'm gonna sharpen. Eugene, you're gonna hit it. So we do get a reaction here.
plastic is an insulator, and as such, plastic type attacks can limit the scope of lightning type attackers. Attacks from characters with unitarget that don't normally target a whole team only affect a single target, and attacks that are normally single target have reduced accuracy. Oh, we have more. Nice. I don't know where those came from, but uh, bop it on the head. Oh, goodness. Bop. Boo. Gotta try again. Boo. Lucky. Oof. Unlucky. Come on. Get in the tape. Stop attacking me. You jerk. There it is. Nice. I've got a lightning bootleg. In my entire playthrough before, um, I'd only caught two shinies. And they were both later game, and now we got two of them in the first hour. When your party is full, tapes you record are put into a special storage compartment in your backpack. These tapes can be accessed and moved to and from your party while you're sat at a campfire or in a cafe. They're PC boxes. Or a big PC box. Okay. Nice. Okay, so after that diversion, I get out of here. There's a trainer. Yes. The value of property near the park is sky high. Toink. Oh wow. Cloxley, why? No. I flinched. Character that flinches skips its next turn. So notably you don't have to be faster than your opponent. They just skip their next action. Elemental wall. Oof, the crime rate is also sky high. All right, so I'm here. There we go. Nice try, Spring Heel. It's always been my dream to join the Rangers. I can't let that dream end now. A starter grade. Get it? So this is an astral type, so we want to hit it with this unnatural element plastic. Doink. The internal harmony of astral types can be thrown into disarray by expo exposure to the impure elements. Characters with AP drain gain one fewer AP for each round. 
accuracy up. Unacceptable. Bop. Bop. And we can just keep re-upping the uh, distractedness by continuing to hit it. Level 2 Cloxley, return fire. Do you like automatics? Don't let your dreams be dreams! Okay. Excuse me, thank you. Alright, now we can go to the Ranger hideout. If we get past all these Carnivipers. Excuse me, excuse me, coming through. Nope. Wow. See, and that's why auto auto trigger abilities are nice. Eugene's kind of nice here because he can just always use his power attack. He doesn't really have anything worth saving up for. Dodge. Alright, let's try this again. Are you good enough to join the Rangers? Probably. So you can continue to hit trainers, and if they have a second Mon uh, in reserve, if you knock the trainer out before they switch over, they don't get to switch over. A Macabre. Wow. How does Cloxley keep dying? Jeez. It's terrible. Oh, so it raised a wall. Walls can absorb a certain number of incoming hits. Type advantaged attacks immediately break walls. In addition to standard wall behavior, Abramacadabra Abra Macabra automatically attacks one opponent each turn. Oh, neat. I did not know that thing had that move. So I should have broken it. That was three hits. Nice. Your uh, broken tapes still get XP too, which is super nice. Nice. You show promise. You should head inside. One metal. The scribbled notes say, if given a toy, this elven monster will not stray from its path. Without one, it will eventually be consumed by rage. Weird. I was ambushed by a spring heel hiding around a corner. Frankly, I'm lucky to have made it out in one piece. Z's. Boop. I guess we can use a rewind to pick that one up. Ayante. Ayante, nice to meet you, newbie. Oh. 
Well, what do you think of this outpost? This place was abandoned for the longest time. With a bit of work, we turned it into a rest stop for Weary Rangers. Weary Rangers. What do you do here? I'd like to tell you that we defend the people of New World from a rest relentless horde of monsters. <laughs> but most of the time, we're doing odd jobs for the community. It's really not that exciting. Except Ranger Kaylee insists the two of you fought an Archangel together? It's true. Archangels. We're pretty sure Archangels exist, but our interactions with them have been fleeting. To even survive an encounter with something like that would show some real fortitude. All right. Monarch can hold his own in a fight. I can vouch for that. Huh? Well, what do you think, Monarch? Do you want to apply to join the Rangers? Yeah, sure. What do I have to do? Trainees are tasked with meeting up with each of the Ranger captains here in New World and overcoming their challenges. Beat them up. <laughs> Since you're such a hot shot in monster combat, I'm pretty sure the captains are going to want to test your fighting abilities. Yeah, gyms. It's really just gym leaders. They don't really do anything else, but it's fine. You really are new here. Trainees who pass the trial become full-time Rangers, like Kaylee. Rangers have a lot of responsibilities, but nothing that would put them in significant danger. The captains, like myself, run the whole operation. We try to maintain the community in Harbor Town. The most dangerous situations fall on us to resolve. So the captions are top rangers. Here, take one of these. We did it. Is this a stamp card? Every time you overcome a captain's challenge, they'll stamp this card. When you filled it all in, come and see me, and I can sign off on you as an official ranger. Each captain has perfected their own strategy in battle. It ain't just about raw strength. You're going to have to adapt your approach as you go. You think you can handle it, Monarch? I'm ready. That's the spirit. Alright, take me on. Anyway, i got to head back to town. If you need me, come swing by our headquarters. The building with the half ship wedged on top of it. You can't miss it. Yes. What we need these barrels out of the way. And this chest. Okay. Let's uh, head back to town. Actually, hang on. Before we do this, we'll demonstrate something else. So we have this up grape, which is pretty much, it's kind of like a rare candy. It gives you another star, but like your monsters level up with you. So let's see. Let's do Banshee. Cool. So Banshee learned cotton on. And while monsters can only equip a certain number of moves, you can just replace them. So you're not like losing out on anything if you don't equip it right away. All right, let's rest. The two of you trade battle tips as time passes uneventfully. Your broken tapes have been repaired. Remastering. Certain tapes can be remastered when they reach five stars. Remastering a tape evolves it into a more powerful form. Its stats will grow and it will learn new moves. Some monster forms can only be obtained through remastering, and in some cases the remastered tape can be different depending on various conditions. Remaster tapes whenever you can. It's evolution. So we can evolve our Banshee? Yes. A spirit cannot remain in limbo forever. Ascend to the afterlife or return to the earth. So which, what are we gonna do for our, our sheepy friend? Let it ascend or return it to the earth. Is it? Well then we can let it ascend. Flap, 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 flap. <laughs> I don't like this pressure. Well, 
You're the one here. You can do it. This one. There, I picked for you. Okay, I just want to make sure you weren't stuck in chat lag. Oh, you're cheating. Your Banshee tape became a Woltergeist. Unlike the Banshee, the Woltergeist is an undead spirit that only partially manifests on the physical plane. It is said that when it is in proximity to a place where a death recently took place, the horns on its head grow sharper. She's looking him up. Cheater, cheater. She approves. So we can also go and get the, uh, we can get the second entry of Banshee. Ghosts commonly appear in folklore across all of human history and civilization as manifestations of spirits of the deceased. Whether they are harmless or malevolent varies on the depiction or often the personality of the departed. <laughs> I still can't believe we have two bootlegs for this thing. So we have quite a few who are ready to, or are one off. We have Dominoth. Carnaviper are almost ready to evolve. Someone I know in Morningtown up on Autumn Hill says he's seen a lot of landkeepers gathering at some kind of office lately. There are only two starters, but each of them branch. So there's four final evolutions to the two starters. Cool, new quest. Oh, we should probably find that shopkeeper. He's been missing for a few days. Well. Professor Hoylake says that he's looking for a new research assistant. He's usually hanging around the town hall. How he manages to research monsters while completely avoiding them, I'll never know. Yep, that's that guy up there. I heard Captain Wallace is at the park right now. All right. And Newcomer, I am Professor Percival Hoylake, intrepid investigator into the unknown. Investigator? Yes. Indeed. As we all find ourselves marooned in this curious realm, it falls upon the steadfast and rational mind to make sense of the chaos that surrounds us. I am talking the scientific method. We must observe, analyze, and form conclusions. The humble townsfolk describe many strange beasts on this island. If we were to catalog them, then the unknown would cease to be unknown. Say, you look like you appreciate the importance of this task. Would you be interested in helping me identify some monsters? Sure. Excellent. Wonderful. I have some descriptions of monsters I've sourced from Harbor Town's populace. If you can record these monster forms, I'll be able to catalog them. The first account I have is a fanged creature perched on a skull spotted in the park. He has a good bun. Yeah. Here's some blank tapes to assist you in your research. Nice, thanks, bud. Come by when you've recorded it, and I shall catalog it. Happy hunting, my eager assistant. Doink. Money? It's empty. Hey, Monarch, something on your mind? So she'll just tell you about mechanics. Hello, sweetie. I see you've got a brand new training ID there. Let me explain how I can help. I'm here to help distribute the organization's resources to trainers and trainees to help them with their duties. I've got upgrades for backpacks and cassette players, passes for special training sessions, but we only have limited quantities of these, so I have to make sure they don't go to waste. In short, sweetie, the more captains you've completed your training with, the more I can give you. Oh, and I'll need a bit of fused material from you as well. Now, what are you after? So we can pick up, usually I like the 
respool pouch because that gets you a, at least a second revive is always nice to have so we'll uh hold off on that standing on his head here for a workout sure oh this won't do where's your gym pass champ go get a gym pass from wilma over there and i can give you a custom targeted workout catch you later Sometimes it's not enough to just be good at transforming. Sometimes you simply need to be stronger. This is where I can come in. Uh, I can give you a custom workout designed to adjust your base stats of your human form that'll affect the strength of your transformations too. If you decide, for instance, that you need your melee attacks to hit harder, but don't really rely on ranged attacks that much, we can move some points from ranged attack to melee attack to do just that. As you advance through your training with the rangers, you'll no doubt find yourself with a few extra points to put towards these base stats. So what do you say? Are you ready to work out? Nope. Bye. So that's a pretty cool thing where you can uh, more or less customize your stats if you want to go glass cannon, if you want to go real tanky. You have the uh, ability to do that. Still looking for that wood for you, bud. Let's see if we can find that guy in the cave. That was this one. Yes. I guess we need to capture a uh, traffic crab at some point. It's raining. Excuse me. Oh, here's a squirey. Here are you, new friend. So we have become an astral type, so that's neat. We do have to watch out though for getting hit by poison. Nice return fire. Dang, good crit. Bop. Nope. Okay. I was going to capture it, but I just didn't. Ding dang, press the wrong button. Right. Oop, he got me. I've been honing my monster skills out here for months now. Come on, let me show you the results of my training. So we can see that the purple tape up in the upper right hand corner under his health bar, when we're selecting moves, tells us he has a second. So if we could deal enough over damage to him, um, we would be able to prevent him from transforming into that, but I don't think we can. Good lord, that does so much. Bop. A Masquerattle. That is the evolved form of Carnaviper. Let's go ahead and switch out here. Oof. Chomp. Oh, you can see as we evolve, we get more AP boxes. Ooh, that's going to be bad for us. Oof. We have, been we have been disturbed. The internal harmony of astral types can be thrown in disarray by the impure elements. Characters with Berserk can only use damaging moves. So, taunted. Aww. Oh, did I forget to buy another respool? I guess I still have a lot more training to do. Yes, I did.
Oh, didn't even. Ooh, uh, they are a higher level than I wanted them to be. Excuse me, fellas. All right, I'll go this way. Let's see, double battle. I mean, they're all double battles, but you know. Come on, I need a squirey. Oh man, I wonder what I'm supposed to do. Rock? Man. Excuse me. I will fight you in a moment. Eugene. <sighs> Kid, what are we going to do with him? I bet we'll find some tough monsters down here. Stay on your guard, buddy. Well, I can't really do anything. Oop! That was close. Take his jacket. Rip it off of him. Alright. A button. Touch. Now leave me alone. Touch. Hey, you over there. These monsters have me cornered. Can you give me a hand? I guess. Am I supposed to get up there? Oh. Touch. Why does that switch do that? No clue. But it does. A fusion. Oh no, they fused. Help. Hyper Southpaw. Characters with intercepting intercept all attacks directed at their allies. So we actually do not want to be an astral type here. Let's go fire for their steel. Let's go ahead and try and set up. Okay. Do you just like okay, bye Eugene. Cloxley kinda sucks. I think electric is strong. I can never remember electric and steel here, but uh, let's inflame them. Oh dang, their smack is rare? Even better. Okay, yes. Electric is good against steel because they are conductive. Characters with contact damage deal a bit of elemental damage whenever they land or receive a melee attack. Good thing we have... Spring loaded. Metal conducts electricity, leaving it weak to future lightning type attacks. Conductive characters take damage whenever any lightning type attack is used. Bursh. Melted. Metal types can be melted with fire type attacks, which causes lasting damage to the target. Burned characters take damage at the end of their turn. Dog ears. I'm just gonna go ahead and set that guy on fire too. Heals four percent of max HP. Let's hit him. Toink. Ouch. Uh, 
pretty dangerous. Oh, right, intercepted. Okay. Okay, bye. So we'll have to heal. No, they're going for blood. So when you defuse them, they, uh, they get a flinch status and they split their, um, what do you call it? They split their buffs and ailments. So we want to hit this one and it'll deal damage to the conductive one as well. So obviously the uh, South Paws are the evolved form of Puppet Cut. Tink. Metal conducts electricity, increasing the scope and range of lightning types attacks. Attacks from characters with multi-target target the whole team. That was a big mistake, bud. Poink. 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 <laughs> doink. 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 Nice. Hot potato! Woo, thanks for that. I came here looking for some sticker ideas, but I ended up getting more than I bargained for. Hmm. Say, did you notice the Southpaw's, Southpaw's move magnet activates automatically at the start of battle? I think I got my inspiration after all. Come see me at the market back in town. I'll have some stickers for you. Nice. See ya. All right, we can't fast travel from a cave, so. How close are we to leveling up here? Let's see. Quoxley's pretty close. Here. I think we can get that chest. Let's see. So we have type tapes, so this one's good against poison types. If your HP is above 80%, you receive an attack that would do- that freaking Cloxley needs that, jeez. A Terra Cooker! Uh, spoilers! Well, it's actually not that bad. We can hit glass or er, uh, earth types with electricity to turn them to glass, which is kind of neat. Yep, astral types drain power from targets of the four elements. When lightning strikes sand, it creates fulgurites, natural glass. Earth type, earth type attacks. Earth type targets of lightning type attacks change type to become glass. Glass coating. Coatings change the elemental type of a character for a certain number of turns. No. Ouchies. Oh, nice. Now Eugene doesn't hurt. Brick Blast. We'll try to get um, try to get those evolutions before we sign off for the night. There's a campfire over here. There's a squirey too. Maybe there will be one there after we rest.
My wood! Yeah. This is in, like, the top ten campfires I've ever helped make. A really momentous fire. Good work, Monarch. Thanks. Squirey? Buddy? No? Frown. Where go? Where are all my friends? Fine, I guess I'll fight you. <laughs> May the guiding light of Leader Dorian show you the way. Occultist. Shooting Star and Thunder Blast. Uncommon. Nice. That's really good. Man, early early game bootlegs seem really good. There's a pupper cut. Guess we need a spring heal. Oh, so also, unlike double battles in Pokemon, we can catch both of these. Set up a Sharpen. Oh, it's an extra duration Sharpen? Jeez. So we need one of these for Hoylake. Let's do this one. Bop. Bop. Just like Golden Sun. Bop. No, don't do that. So his move failed because he didn't have the 20% HP to sacrifice. The Macabre cannot see, but instead has the ability to taste the air around it for potential prey. It prefers to do so from a higher vantage point and will often find a rock or animal skull to perch on whilst hunting. To storage with you. All right, so let's smack it for a moment. Actually, whatever, we'll just catch it. Boink. Pick the wrong guy. Spring heels get their kicks by hiding behind corners under the cover of night before leaping out to surprise their victims. It appears they make their wings out of old discarded rags. Point. All right. And I really wanted a squirey, but I just don't see any. That's all right. We'll get them next time. Um, can't heal yet. Here's our guy. Maybe these guys have something you can use in your endless battle for justice. <laughs> Don't underestimate passive moves, my friend. Here, take a look at my sticker selection for the day. So, wow, those are very... That's pretty cool. So I thought he was gonna, you know, give me something, but nope. Like, nah, you gotta pay. 
Last I heard, Captain Zed was heading out to see what's up with Morningtown in the east. I bet he fell asleep on the way. So, just over time, you get whereabouts of all the rangers. Greetings. I have. Excellent. The Macabre, is it? Yes, the intent. this indeed matches up with my reports perfectly. Recording monsters with cassette tapes to transform into them, it doesn't make rational sense, and yet we see it happening before our eyes. If our understanding of science is proven to be limited, then is our understanding that must change. Thank you. Thank you for your work. Here's some compensation for your time. Ooh, airtight tape. For your next assignment, a young ranger recently spotted a floating worm creature spotted in the park. Sounds like a task for you, no doubt. All right. Let's just try and get a couple more fights. Get those level ups. How about you? You want to fight? Hey! Go back home. The ranger's job opening is mine. I've already got the application. An Elphis. Doink. Didn't even get the proc because we beat it up so bad. Punctuation goes inside the quotation marks. I know, but it looks better this way. Look, I know it, you know it. We all know it's incorrect. But this is just what it's going to do. Let's go on here. I don't know, man. The monsters here seem too tough for us right now. Oh, I made a mistake. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, I mean, they're going to beat us up anyway, so bye. Never talk to NPCs <laughs> if they're... Uh, because they never just want to talk to you. We need like one more fight and get these level ups. Touch. Oh, there's a starter grade. Nice. So let's see, we can. But you. So the drain will show up every time until we just exhaust all of the reactions there. In New World, air conducts electricity abnormally well, leaving air-type targets weak to future lightning-type attacks. Humph. Look, it just does. It's, it's cleaner this way. Low chance. Okay, I mean... Hibernating characters heal each turn that they're asleep. Sleeping characters can't use the moves they normally have. Okay, let's keep trying. Man, that was not the right move. Astral types draw their power, yeah, yeah, yeah. AP boost. Did we get it? Nope. Ow, it actually hit with sleep talk? Come on. Sleep talk has a 1% chance to hit. Come on. Nope. Oh, we got it. Nice. Starter grade. Starter grades are curious creatures, spending much of their time asleep in the lower atmosphere of New World. 
Occasionally, they will float down to the ground level to feed before ascending once more using the rockets on their back. Alright, beat it up. Bop. Oh, when hit with astral type attacks, astral type monsters can absorb it and make use of it left of the energy left over. Neat. Didn't know that. There we go. An uncommon multi smack. Nice. Alright, let's evolve our friends. How are you finding your Woltergeist form? Kind of suits you, you know. Transforming into a sheep-like ghost with a tired expression to defend the people of New World. I like it. Alright, Dominoth. Sure. Became Winggloom. The light bulbs on a Winggloom's head channel an electric current that runs through the creature's entire body. The lights generated by them are reflected in its out its eyes, allowing them perfect vision at night. Carnaviper. Masqueradle. It is often presumed that masqueradles use the face-like armor plates on their heads to lure in unsuspecting prey. This is a myth. The faces on their heads are actually very creepy and couldn't possibly convince anyone to approach them. Alright, so let's go show our starter grade. Oop, hang on. Rumor. No, come back. Apparently there's a monster that dashes about like a rocket. I bet you could too if you recorded one. So, much like how we caught the Dominoth and we got the float, Capturing different types of monsters like that one will give you new abilities, kind of like HMs in Pokemon. New traversal abilities. Greetings. Have you recorded the mystery monster? Here it is. Oh. My my, this starter grade, is it? Why would you want to transform into this thing? I do not know. Truth be told, I don't want to transform into any beast. I don't understand how this technology works, and I'd rather not experiment on myself. I'm perfectly happy leaving the monster transforming to others, which reminds me, here's a reward for your efforts. Nice. Well. The next rumor I've heard sounds too bizarre to be true. There are claims of a winged rabbit spotted over on Autumn Hill. Surely someone is pulling my leg, having a laugh, maybe engaging in a jest of, short, of sorts? If you can sort out the bottom of this one, you'll be a better scientist than I. Let's see, do we have enough fused material? We do not. We're one short, boo. Gotta restock on our healing items, too. So you've got repels, which doesn't seem like it does any good when you can just avoid the monsters and you can guarantee successful escape. Honestly, I found that running is almost never a problem in this game once you get past like a certain level. You just almost always have a 100% chance to flee. This place is a cute little town, don't you think? You're new to the whole cassette tape transforming thing, huh? A little piece of advice for you. The key is to not think about how it works. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense, but it does work, so just go along with it. Kaylee's place, ooh, a chest. Can I not? There we go. Broadcast, ooh, nice. It's a good one. Oh, wait. It's empty.
Okay, so that will kind of conclude our look at uh, cassette beasts for the time being. Um, if you like the, the video or I mean stream or whatever, we can always come back to it. We can do a randomizer run or something, but um, I think I'm gonna call it here for tonight. Um, can't recommend the game enough. Like it's it's a refreshing break from Pokemon if you're looking for something like that that's kind of in the same vein. Um, and it's I think it's pretty charming. I think all the the monster designs are really good. They have good names. The battle system. I mean, I wouldn't say that it's better than Pokemon, but it's um, unique enough to give you something else to work with for a little bit. So, uh, yep, that'll do it for me tonight. I will catch y'all next time. Bye-bye.